Hello, everyone. Welcome to LAM Basics or the basic TCM and acupuncture for beginners. We are now on episode 63 and welcome. Let's start with the first presentation. Let's welcome Sir Dino Pinheiro of Legaspi City, Certified Associate Acupuncturist. Good afternoon, Sir Dino. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Doc. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Now we go to the treatment of musculoskeletal pain, sa water element, stipne, sciatica. <clears throat> this is an acupuncturist bread and butter. At least half our patient come with a pain of some sort and acupuncture is the best therapy for musculoskeletal pains. We discussed earlier the three questions we should ask our patient in order to determine if the pain is an excess or deficient state. An acute state and a recurrent state should be treated with sedation of the excess. We also discussed that in the treatment of hot pain, one should use fewer local needles and more distal points to draw the excess energy away from the local area. In this context, I would like to draw your attention to one-point therapy again. This therapy has been mentioned before in Chapter 6 on how it is possible to sedate an excess of one meridian on either its same polarity meridian on the arm or leg, or the meridian that precedes it on the organ clock energy flow. So we have here the table, one-point therapy. Sa symptoms, if there is a facial pain, headache, sa related guidance course, we have the gallbladder, large intestine, and stomach related guidance course, the triple warmer, stom stomach, and large intestine. The point is triple warmer 6, stomach 44, and LI4. Sa shoulder and arm, uh, large intestine, triple warmer, small intestine, stomach, GB, and UB. The point is stomach 38, GB 34, and UB 58. For back pain and sciatica, related guidance course, we have the UB, small intestine, and the small intestine 7, small intestine 3. Sa osteoarthritis of the knee, Leg pain, the related guidance course, stomach, gallbladder, spleen, and liver, LI, triple warmer, lung, and pericardium. The point is LI10, triple warmer 5, UB6, and pericardium 7. Pain in the hypochondrium, uh, related guidance course, the GB and triple warmer. We use the point triple warmer 8. For the heel and ankle, we have the related guidance course, the kidney and pericardium. The point is pericardium 7. According to the table uh, 13.11 and table 6.7, we have two possible sedation points for excess situations of each and every meridian except three the large intestine and small intestine and triple or mark. The table gives one empirical point for acidating the meridian excess, but other points along the same meridian can be considered. Uh, example, we have a stiff neck. This is a very common complaint patient present with after sleeping in a wrong position or after wind exposure. The pain is on the trapezius muscle the gallbladder meridian on turning the head sideways and is severe enough to limit movement, may cause a parietal headache. So the treatment, we use two needles locally with electrical stimulation for 20 minutes. Lung 7, area distal point, UB60, the meridian distal point. When local needles had been removed, point triple warmer 6 should be applied on the affected side and vibrated while the patient slowly moves the head. Pain reduces within 0 0.5 to 2 minutes. The triple warmer 6 must be removed after 2 minutes. One point therapy is used for removing energy from the local area. 
It should be given as the last part of the treatment and there should not be only local points at the same time or after. If local points are used, this would bring energy to the pain. One point therapy sedates the polarity of the meridian, sedates yin in a yin meridian, and yang in a yang meridian. Sedation of lang six sedates yin of the spleen meridian. Next, we have the we go to the acute sciatica. This pain occurs along the urinary bladder meridian from the buttock to ankle. The patient stands in bent position as standing erect worsens the pain. So the treatment patient lies on one side with the painful side above. We use the point UB24, UB28, UB54, and GB30 are given with electrical stimulation, 5 to 10 hertz, continuous frequency, intensity, comfortable for the patient. The points is UB37, UB40, and UB60 are given with balanced needle technique. Here, acupuncture or sciatic nerve, kidney, and Shenman uh, points. When local needles are removed in 20 minutes, point small intestine 7 on the side of the pain is given with vibration for up to 2 minutes the pain reduce, reducing steadily. If the sciatica was on the gallbladder meridian, the local point should have been on the gallbladder and one point vibration on triple warmer five. Next, we go to the shoulder and arm pain. There are three young meridians flowing on the anterior, lateral, and posterior of the shoulder. If there is a young pain on one, on any one of these meridians, one point therapy could be used after local points had been removed. The points are as follows. For sedating the large intestine meridian, for shoulder and elbow, stomach 38, vibration. For sedating the triple warmer meridian, for shoulder and elbow, we use GB34, vibration. For sedating the small intestine meridian, for shoulder and elbow, we use UB58 vibration. Next, we go to the osteoarthritis of the knee. This condition is very common in middle-aged women in whom it occurs more often than in men. Typically, the pain occurs in the medial side on the spleen region. There is some edema and stiffness on starting to move. The patients tend to limp when they start walking after having a rest. So treatment, this is a damp pain, sometimes showing some heat symptoms. When there is no heat, <clears throat> many hot needles could be given locally. On points, uh, extra point 32, so knee ice, spleen 10, and stomach 34, then capping. Additional points, stomach 32, very good point to strengthen the, the quadricep muscles. Finishing up with one point therapy for spleen meridian, lung six vibration. The patient will be able to walk without limping straight after the treatment. Next, we go to the central low back ache. This pain occurs in the midline at the height of L4 to S2 vertebra. The pain comes on when the patient tries to strengthen the back and improves when he or she bends forward. The pain is on the doom meridian and is a young dominant pain. The young keeps the back straight. If there is pain on, the, on standing erect or in extension, this is young posture and therefore the pain is young dominant. It improves when bending forward. Bending is a yin posture for the back so if there is pain while bending, it would be a yin pain and it improves when extending the back. Young excess pain on Dumeridian, we use one to two local points. Uh, do 26, Meridian distal point. UB40, area distal point. At the end, vibrate point, small intestine three. Next, we go to the inferior heel pain. The cause of this pain may be calcaneal spar 
or plantar fasciitis. And what is important for the treatment is the type of pain. The pain occurs in the heel where the kidney meridian flows. We treat the kidney meridian according to the character of the pain. Pain that worsens at the start of movement from rest and improves as the patient walks is a damp pain. So we treat with first four tender points felt on palpation along the kidney meridian between the knee and ankle given with hot needles. We use kidney tree if this was not a tender point already. UB 58, stomach 40, the loop points to move dampness. Uh, when all needles had been removed and with two minutes of one point vibration on point pericardium 7 with patient moving the ankle gently. Advice wearing the shoes with arc support and soft heels. Soft Achilles tendon stretching exercise. Treat tw uh, twice weekly at the beginning and when pain reduces, once weekly, 12 sessions approximately. Next, we go to the tennis elbow. Pain on the lateral epicondyle is mostly a young dominant nature. Pain is aggravated by gripping and twisting movements and extension of the wrist. Often, it causes weakness of the arm and therefore more strain on the wrist. So, so treatment, there are three superficial needles on the lateral epicondyle, four needles, two on the triple warmer meridian and two on the large intestine, meridian above and below the pain area with electrical stimulation. Palpate and needle tender points along both meridians or the painful meridian from wrist to shoulder. This helps to strengthen the muscles. Ear acupuncture, elbow, liver, and shen men points. Point stomach 38 vibrate as one point therapy at the end. Okay. Treat twice weekly for the first two weeks, then once weekly, 12 sessions in all. Then the problem is subacute points. Uh, lung 7 and PC6 can be added as a loop points to tonify yin and sedate yang of the large intestine and triple warmer meridians. The do meridian is an extra meridian which has no similar polarity meridian. Therefore, sedation is possible only on the confluent point small intestine 3. One side could be used during one treatment and the other side used next time. The pericardium meridian does not have the same polarity as the kidney meridian, but it is the next meridian on the arc or gut clock energy flow. Next, we go to the back eight. This is one, this most common problem among acupuncture patients. So table 13.12 shows the types of pain and treatment. So heart pain, worsen with activity, better with rest, severe, Radiating to leg is by leaning forward, sitting on the limb. Pain is very localized. Bleeding cup should be considered. So, sa urinary bladder, urinary bladder, there is an excess of yang, normal ang yin. We sedate the UB65, UB63, vibrate small intestine 7, four local points with electrode stimulation, UB37. UB40 and UB60. UB Next, uh, urinary bladder, there is an excess of yang and deficient yin. So we sedate UB63 by great small intestine 7, kidney 4, loop point, four local points with electrostimulation, UB37, UB40, and UB60. Next, the uh, urinary bladder, there is normal uh, yang, deficient Yin. We use REN3, UB40, and kidney 7. Four local points with electro acupuncture, UB37, and UB60. Thank you for your attention. Sir Gina will continue with the types of pain in backache uh, next time. And uh, we are very happy because the first topic was very interesting since uh, we see a lot of uh, patients who have these complaints. Thank you very much, Sergino.
We will now proceed to the second topic. And let's welcome Mam Teresita Sumile of Rizal for the wood element, the concept. Good afternoon, Mam Teresita. Good afternoon, Paul, Dr. Hector, and good afternoon, everyone. Wood element, the concept, 13th day na po tayo. Associated season of wood element is spring. Spring marks the beginning of a new yearly cycle when the seeds begin to sprout out of the cold, dry earth, and flowers start to blossom. In our life, this is comparable to the time of birth, the emergence of the small but strong young out of the extreme yin. This is also the reason why animals and plants have a great amount of liver yang and chi at this period of their lives. Consuming sprouted seeds in young animals will increase our liver yang and chi too. The period of spring is a very young time for liver. Many wind diseases appear or worsen at this period. Hay fever, allergic asthma, wandering joint pains, dermatitis, to name a few. Many patients tend to have a wiry pulse, as described as tense like a guitar string, during these um, months, which is the typical pulse quality for liver knee. Associated climate of wood element is wind. As liver is the organ that generates interior wind, it is also the organ that is most vulnerable to exterior wind. The symptoms caused by liver chi deficiency tend to improve in windy climate, and those with excess of yang seem to feel worse when exposed to wind. Does that mean that patients will always decide correctly what is best for them? This question will be answered in the following example, okay? Clinical example, we have a female, 56 years old. This housewife came to the clinic with acute pain in the left neck and shoulder with limited mobility for about 10 days. She had already visited her doctor who had given her four proximal tablets two tablets to be taken four times daily. She was still in pain and was also sweating profusely as a side effect of the tablets. After the first treatment of local and distal points, one point therapy on point triple warmer six, she felt very well. But when she came for the second treatment, she had a similar pain as on the first day this time on the right side. So lumipap, lumipap ang pains from the left to the right. The acupuncturist then treated both sides and also performed the wind elimination sedation needle technique on points GB20 and SI12. She could move without any restrictions or pain after the treatment, but some of the pain returned and she had to take her tablets all eight of them. He was, the acupuncturist was quite perturbed by the return of the pain and the reason for this. One day, when treating the points on her neck, he commented on how her neck was soaked with sweat and that the tablets were causing this symptom. She agreed that this symptom was new for her and added that she had started sitting in her kitchen with the wind blowing through from the open garage door in a straight line to the kitchen door that opened to the garden. So that was the reason for the return of the wind block pain. She had had pain caused by exterior wind blocking in one area in the first place. She took tablets for the pain the side effect of which was excessive sweating. She felt hot and sweaty and therefore sat in a continuous draft all the time. 
thus causing more wind to flow from the exterior and block on her neck, causing stiff neck. Okay. He advised her to change the pain medication and take less of it and explained to her the reason why he thought she was not improving. She sweated less with the new medication which she was used in moderation and stopped sitting in the draft. Her pain disappeared after three more sessions. So the answer to the question above is no. The patients do not always know what is good for them. The body does give us correct signals. Meaning, if there is a liver cheese deficiency, the body needs wind. But if there is also a yin or blood deficiency at the same time, then this may cause wind symptoms. Therefore, we cannot always listen to what the body likes as the correct solution to our imbalances. This may be the reason why we sometimes crave for things that are actually bad for us which worsen our symptoms. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Ma'am Teresita. We bring back Sardino Pinheiro for Diseases of the Wood Element. Good afternoon, Sardino. Good afternoon, Doc. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Now we go to the wood element, the diseases. Lower motor <clears throat> neuron paralysis. Sabi ng author, I, I come from a country where poliomyelitis was common and have treated many children during an epidemic of polio. I have also treated all polio victims. Nowadays, it is more common to see lower motor neuron paralysis caused by spinal injuries, disc prolapse, Friedrich's ataxia, tumors, etc. <clears throat> the lower motor neuron is an integral part of the spinal reflex arc and is the final common pathway for all motor impulses, involuntary or voluntary directed to a muscle. A muscle seems to, be, to depend on its contact with the spinal cord through the lower motor neuron for its nutrition. If this contact is affected, the muscle atrophies. Symptoms, <clears throat> weakness and flaccid paralysis, muscle atrophy, absence or weak reflexes, coldness, dryness, and cyanosis, sensory disturbance, less sensitivity. The treatment similar to the treatment of peripheral nerve paralysis, local and proximal points, prolonged stimulation and electrical stimulation with intermittent frequency. Sa proximal points, EX21, the Watudiaji, Pakshu points, at height of lesion. Acupuncture points in larger muscles, for example, sa arms, uh, LI14, LI11, triple warmer 14, uh, 13, 5, and GB21. Sa legs, stomach 31, stomach 32, stomach 36, UB37, UB57, GB34, and GB31. GB39 and GB34 as influential points. Aqua acupuncture with vitamin B12, cobalamin, and two points per treatment. Treatment should be given two to three times per week alongside physiotherapy. There should be progress each week. Uh, massage and passive exercises are also recommended. <clears throat> Next, the upper motor neuron paralysis. This type of paralysis is caused by lesion at the cortical level. The symptoms, there is a paralysis often unilateral. Spastic paralysis in flexor muscles of the arm and extensor muscles in the legs, the anti-gravity muscles. Tendon reflexes high in amplitude, there is cloning. Positive Babinski reflex, no muscle atrophy. This is type of a stroke or a cerebral tumor causing paralysis of the opposite side of the body. 
sa treatment, treatment should be should commence as soon as it is safely possible to do so. The longer the delay after the paralysis, the poorer yeah, is called acupuncture on motor area of the contralateral side. This can be done twice every week. <clears throat> we use local points on arm and legs as in lower motor neuron paralysis with strong stimulation therapy sedation. Electrical stimulation with continuous frequency to relax the muscles. Liver 5 with GB40 sedation. Lou of liver and U1 source point of gallbladder. GB39, GB34, the influential points. Points around the wrist, fingers, ankles, and toes should be given in the second course of treatment. Triple warmer 4, LI5, lung 9, back C for hands. Stomach 41, QB 60, kidney 3, and buffing for feet. One course of treatment should consist of 10 to 14 sessions, repeat after 10 day interval. Passive exercises. Extra meridians are very useful in the treatment of paralysis. Kidney 6, the confluent point of the yin motility meridian, should be given on the side of a flaxseed paralysis to move the yin into the yang. UB62, the confluent point of the yang motility meridian, should be used on the side of the spastic paralysis to move the yang into the yin. The motility meridians are also used to balance the two sides of the body. Therefore, they can be used in unilateral paralysis as well, only on the affected side. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Sir Dino. We now call on Mom Lynn Gallerita of Quezon City for the metal element. Good afternoon, Mom Lynn. Good afternoon, Dr. Hector. Good afternoon, everyone. So today we're on our fourth installment on the diseases of the metal element. So we'll start off with acne vulgaris. This is the most common acne problem faced by teenagers. Very oily skin with large, deep postures on the face, neck, chest, and upper back. Almost never below the navel. Acne vulgaris is usually treated with long-term oral antibiotics, which create weakness in the intestinal flora and suppress the immune system. And here's a diagram or... Um, Tower diagram on the state of blood and chi in yin and yang of the lungs in acne vulgaris, which, caused, which is caused by dampness in the lungs. So this type of acne is caused by a combination of three problems. The skin is excessively fatty. This dampness in the lungs come from the spleen. It would also help if the spleen chi is tonified. And dump producing foods like milk products, fats, and refined sweets and carbohydrates are avoided. The skin keeps in, mu keeps in much of the sebaceous secretions. As the elimination function is poor, the secretions stay deep in the skin and do not ascend easily to be eliminated because they are thick and not sufficiently watery to move around. Okay. So stagnant dampness has a tendency to become inflamed easily, hence the postures and heat. This heat coming from the dampness is not the heat causing the dampness. So for treatment, many local points on normal skin in the area of the acne. The needles are given subcutaneously up to 15 needles on the face. Or we could use LI4, bladder 13, to improve the function of the skin, stomach 40 to improve circulation of fluids, uh, spleen 9 could be added when necessary, um, lung 5, the sedation point could also be used with sedation when acne is extensive, and venous bleeding could also be applied if inflammation is severe. 
And lastly, spleen 10 to purify the blood and reduce the heat. The most important part of the treatment is the avoidance of damp producing food. Patients should be encouraged to drink warm water instead of sweetened drinks. Treat twice weekly, 12 sessions making a course. The results are excellent, except in those individuals who have used antibiotics for some time. Okay. Next, uh, on the diseases of the water element, we have ulcerative colitis. This is one of the most successful conditions to be treated by acupuncture. The symptoms are acute phases of the urea with mucus, blood and winds, precipitated by anxiety, excitement, fried or spicy foods, coffee or bitter drinks, pulses and other high fiber food and other high fiber foods. In between bouts, the patients tend to be rather constipated with dry, dark rabbit stools. So up above is a diagram of how the conditions in the heart, the state of yin and yang, impacts the state of yin and yang in the large intestine in ulcerative colitis. So ulcerative colitis is a hyper, hyperactive and hypersensitive disease of the large intestine in an under control situation because the heart being is deficient. Heart in deficiency also causes anxiety, easy excitability, and restless sleep. These symptoms provoke acute phases of the large intestine. So it is necessary to tonify heart pain and calm the fire element on, the, on one hand and prevent the hyperactive yang from rising from time to time in the metal element. Okay. So as for treatment, um, we use stomach 25, stomach 37, the, more, uh, the midpoint of large intestine and lower C point of the large intestine. Stomach 37 can be used with balanced needle technique all the time, but should be sedated in acute phase. So another point is REN12, which is uh, the influential point of the hollow organs. REN4, the front view point of the small intestine, and this would be good as there is as it, there is some discomfort in the area around and below the navel as well. Loose lung seven, the low point of the lung, which tonifies in and sedates young. Large intestine five, the fire point, and the grandmother point of the large intestine, which tonifies in. The stomach 36, the symptomat symptomatic point for distension. Stomach 39, the lower C point for small intestine may be added from time to time, uh, and this is sedated in the acute phase. We also have the 20, heart 8, percardium 6, and liver 3 as tranquilizing and calming points for anxiety, nervousness, and hyperactivity. Okay. Completely avoid... All patients would be uh, advised to completely avoid spices and onions, leeks, horseradish, mustard, ginger, and garlic in foods, coffee or other caffeinated or decaffeinated drinks, and fried foods. Eat only simple cooked meals in small portions. Refined carbohydrates and white rice are better than whole meal and brown rice as they are easier to digest. The patient should go to bed in time and have a good night's rest. A regular lifestyle greatly helps to improve the symptoms. Treatment should be given twice weekly until all medications has been gradually withdrawn. Exe expect some symptoms to worsen when reducing medication and wait until the condition stabilizes before reducing again. Then once weekly for one to two months, depending on how well the patient feels. Once fortnightly for at least three months. And finally, once a month until one year of treatment is completed. Okay, join us again next time as we continue to discuss about this topic. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Ma'am Lin. We call once again, Ma'am Teresita Sumile of Rizal for the theory of Zanku organs.
Good afternoon, Mom Teresita. Good afternoon, Paul, Dr. Hector. Good afternoon, everyone. The simple questions in chapter nine says, the stomach, small and large intestine, triple burner and bladder are the roots of food storage. They are the residents of nutritive chi. They are cold containers. They transform waste substances and transmit the incoming and outgoing flavors. There is a close interrelationship between yin and yang organs. The two groups of organ are different in function, but their difference is only relative. The relationship between yin and yang organs is a structural functional relationship. The yin organs correspond to structure and store the vital substances, while the yang organs correspond to function. Structure and function are independent and we can view each young organ as the functional aspect of its corresponding yin organ. For example, one can view the gallbladder as the functional aspect of the liver. Although one yang and one yin, the two organs can be seen as a unit, the liver being the structure and the gallbladder is functional expression. In the Chinese theory of the organs, the yin organs are the core. They are more important than the yang organs, both in terms in physiology and pathology. The yin organs are more important because they store all the vital substances, while the yang organs are their functional aspect. There are two organs, six yin and six yang. Yin so here are the list of yin organs and the yang organs. The yin organ is the heart, yang organ is the small intestine. Liver is the yang organ, gallbladder is the yang organ. Lung, lungs is the yin organ and large intestine is the yang organ. Then spleen is the yin organs while yang organ is the stomach, kidneys, are the yin organs and bladder is the yang organ. Pericardium is the yin organ and triple burner is the yang organ. Okay. In Lampo, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mam Teresita. We call once again uh, Sir Dino Pinero for the water element. Uh, good afternoon, Doc. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Now we go to the clinical example, uh, five, energy treatment of musculoskeletal pain. The patient was a 65-year-old retired man who did many DIY projects at home and kept busy. He had pulled the muscle and had pain on the neck and shoulders, usually on one side at a time. The pain changes side nearly daily. He was angry and frustrated because this was making him sit at home doing nothing. He had the pain for over two years, but it only bothered him occasionally. There were weeks when he was free of pain. His muscles were quite small and tense, and he had rather pale, dry, and wrinkly skin. He was a nervous little man with some nervous twitching of the neck. In his words, the pain was much better if he did not do any heavy jobs for one day, but it returned if he worked. <clears throat> True, his tools were quite primitive and not labored saving, but he was not prepared to buy any. So, so could I put him right that he could get on his work with his work. Diagnosis, we have the liver blood and yin deficiency, wind heat pain. So there is deficient 
blood gene and excess yang and qi. This was clearly an overuse syndrome and a muscular pain in a large area involving many regions. So it was better to treat the organ liver for muscles. The pain was changing sides between left and right side or between neck, shoulder, and arm. This is a typical wind character. It was a hot, it was a hot pain as it appeared only during physical work and it was an intermittent pain with pain-free intervals. Therefore, sabi ng author, I diagnosed it as a recurrent wind heat pain. The patient was quite pale, nervous, and irritable with small and tense muscles. These signs show that there is a blood deficiency and the muscles have less endurance. Prolonged physical work can strain these muscles. When he overstrained the muscles, they get heat and wind and he gets tired and irritable and does not understand why his body does not comply as it did when he was 40 years old. So treatment, we first advise him on his diet and eating habits. Instead of corn flakes in the morning, a sandwich for lunch, and a cooked dinner, he was advised to eat a cooked breakfast and a substantial lunch so that he had some energy for his work. He was to avoid sour foods and wines for a while. I also suggested a herbal iron syrup. So some points, electrical stimulation on any severe local pain. <clears throat> GB20, small intestine 12 with wind elimination sedation technique. This being the wind elimination points in this area. Liver 5, blue point, tonify shin and sedate yang. Kidney 7, tonification point. I use this point to tonify the mother of liver. Spleen 6, the meeting point of the three yin of the leg and distal point for lower warmer. This point helps to descend the heat because the heat ascends to the upper warmer. Do 20 as a tranquilizing point. REN 14, UB 15, UB 17 are for blood building. As he could not afford many treatments, sabi ng author, I treat him once weekly for four sessions and then fortnightly for another four sessions. There was quite a subtle change in him during these three months. He became calmer and more tranquil. Not every chore had to be completed yesterday but could wait. He slept better and woke up refreshed. He mentioned that his muscles seemed supple suppler and he did feel that he was not straining them when working. He had noticed, however, that, he, that when he ate tomatoes, his pain could come on. I still see him once or twice in a year when he comes with pains, but he feels better after just one treatment session. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Sir Dino, for that very wonderful protocol for musculoskeletal pain. We call once again Mamlin Galarita for the, mer the Meridian Theory. Good afternoon, Ma'am Lynn. Good afternoon, Dr. Hector. Good afternoon, everyone. We're still on the extra meridians in our studies of the Meridian Theory. So for today, we'll discuss about the Chong Mai or the penetrating or the vital meridian and the Yang Wei or the linking and protecting meridian. Okay, let's start with the vital meridian or what is also called as the Chong Mai vessel or the penetrating vessel. The vital meridian stores and circulates the vital energy of the body and therefore shares the points of the kidney meridian. Because it flows mainly along the kidney meridian, it is also with, uh, it's also associated with the reproductive function of the kidneys. The vital meridian circulates our vital uh, and reproductive energies. It is used when the patient is lacking in vital energy and feels always tired and low or in depletion or weak reproductive energy in amenorrhea or infertility. So for the common points with the kidney meridian, it's from kidney 11 to 21. Um, 
all in the front part of the body. Okay. To use the vital meridian, spleen four, the confluent point, and two other, two or three common uh, points of the meridian should be used, such as kidney 11, six, 16, and 21. Uh, it is found that the vital meridian to be useful only in cases where the patients with low energy have also good care, like small, easy to digest meals, sleep, and some help with their housework. If this tender loving care or TLC was lacking and they are trying to juggle a busy work schedule and looking after a house, it might be too much for them. In such situation, the treatment is not particularly effective. So next is the young protecting or the young way or the preserving meridian. Okay. Um, its common points are bladder 63, GB35, um, small intestine 10, triple warmer 15, GB13 to 21, do 15, 6, and 16. Its confluent point is triple warmer 5. So this meridian also flows on the lateral side of the body, like the young motility meridian, and its primary function is to preserve the young energy of the body and not allow this to be lost. There are times that young energy of the body can be lost. It is called bursting and leaking of young. This is possible when the yin is too low, is low and the young rises up and outwards causing the leakage. Okay. Examples of this are excessive bleeding and menstruation, vomiting blood in liver cirrhosis or gastric ulcer, epistaxis, redness and hypersensitivity of skin with dryness, and mean deficiency in the interior. These are examples of the rising and leaking of uncontrolled yang, as the yin of the body cannot increase to control yang. The treatment would be to tonify the yin. It is also important to preserve this yang from being lost as there would be soon, uh, there would soon be a young deficiency. In order to stop the leaking of young, point triple warmer five, the confluent point should also be used. Any of the common points can be used if the leakage of course, from one meridian with common points. So this is all for now. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Ma'am Lin. We now come to the final topic for this afternoon. Let's call Ma'am Teresita Sumile once again for the presentation. Good afternoon, Ma'am Teresita. Good afternoon, Po, Dr. Hector. Good afternoon, classmates. Latent heat in Xiao Yang membrane source. Now, clinical manifestations, alternately feeling hot and feeling cold, having a bitter taste, hypochondrial pain, red eyes, deafness, a feeling of oppression of the chest, nausea, having a tongue coating half white and half yellow, and a wiry pulse. Next is latent heat in Xiaoyin. Clinical manifestations are dry mouth and teeth, listlessness, night nice sweating, lower back ache, dizziness, tinnitus, red tongue without coating, and a floating empty pulse. Next is latent heat in joints. Clinical manifestations are alternately feeling hot and feeling cold, swelling and pain of joints, hypochondrial pain, red eyes, tongue coating, half white and half yellow, and a wiry pulse. Case history. A 49-year-old woman had bouts of exhaustion for the previous four months, starting in winter. She can hardly move in the morning. Her muscles have no strength, and she has a feeling of heaviness, feeling cold from the waist down 
muzziness, dizziness, a sticky taste, painful eyes, and a chronic sore throat. Her tongue is slightly red sides, swollen, and has teeth marks. Her pulse is saggy, both she weak. Diagnosis are the onset of the exhaustion indicates latent heat. The heat is mixed with dampness, muscle weakness, heaviness, sticky taste, and some phlegm with dizziness, muscleness, and swollen tongue. For acupuncture treatment, you use REN9, SPLEN9, REN12, and stomach 36. Another case, we have a 32-year-old woman had a cold a few weeks before her consultation. She had a congested chest, neck ache, headaches, and alternately felt cold at, and hot. Now she has loose tools, hypochondrial pain, exhaustion, and depression. Her tongue is red with coating and her pulse is whitey. Diagnosis, the onset of the exhaustion indicates latent heat. The presentation of the acute attack weeks before is of the Xiaoyang type, but most probably latent heat type. Now the heat has injured the spleen, hence there is loose stools. The hypo Chondral pain indicates a Xiao Yang pattern. Now for treatment, acupuncture TB5 reduced, TB6 reduced, DO14 reduced. She felt much better and her energy returned with this very simple treatment. Another Case history, we have a 41-year-old woman who one month before the consultation felt quite suddenly ill with tiredness, headache, nausea, and aches in the joints. Now she also has irritability, a dry mouth, and mouth ulcers. Her tongue is slightly red, which has sticky coating. Her pulse is fine, weak. Diagnosis, the onset of the exhaustion indicates latent heat. The presentation of the acute attack weeks before is latent heat in the Xiaoyang and the joints. For acupuncture treatment, use TB5 to, re re to reduce stomach 36, spleen sticks to reinforce. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mom Teresita, for the presentation. We would like to thank everyone for joining and uh, hope you can join us again next time. Thank you, everyone.